So it started as a uh, just a mere curiosity has quickly devolved into a full blown server addiction, guys. <laughs> I uh, I bought this T430 on eBay. It arrived earlier this week. Shortly after, I discovered that the uh, Facebook Marketplace in my um, my area has some pretty great deals on servers. So. Yesterday, I picked up this T420 for $40. With that, I also got this uh, this little mini desktop here, little mini PC. It's a uh, what is it? Optiplex 3060 that will be running my pie hole along with my old Alienware. It's on running Ubuntu and using serving as my pie hole right now. But I also got my first rack server. <laughs> A R720XD. This thing is pretty cool. It has three Radeon workstation graphics cards. It's got 112 gigs of RAM. CPUs um, aren't the best. I'll have the uh, specs for the the dual CPUs up on the screen. But I know that there are some there are older CPUs that I am looking at some upgrades. It looks like I can get upgraded CPUs for pretty cheap. This uh, this rack server. Um, it has 12 hard drive bays right now. It's got 10 hard drives in it, um, 20 terabytes total. So I think this is going to be, this is going to be the NAS. Um, and this will also probably be the Plex server, um, especially if I get those upgraded CPUs. So back over to the T430. This has a um, NVIDIA Quattro RTX 4000 graphics card, which I actually picked up. Um, separately, so I added that. That's the only upgrade that I have installed right now. I have a few other upgrades that I will be adding in this video, um, but I wanted to get all of the firmware updated before I made any um, changes to the hardware. And the only reason I installed the graphics card first is because I thought if I installed the graphics card, I could use the HDMI or the, the um, display port um, display port instead of having to use the old <laughs> VGA cable in which I didn't have a monitor that supported VGA. But even though I um, set up the graphics card, installed it correctly, I wasn't able to use those ports until I fired up the machine and installed the drivers. So drivers on this machine are updated now, um, apart from the driver that I'll need for my new upgraded RAID controller and probably my network interface card. So I'll install those um, drivers or that for those that firmware after I get it installed. This has 64 gigs of RAM right now, but tomorrow I will have 256 gigs installed on my T430, in which case I'll be able to take that 64 gigs of RAM install it into my T430's little brother, the T420, which only has 16 gigs of RAM right now. It's honestly a pretty miserable machine. There's no hard drives, but the guy gave me um, four 900 gigabyte, they're like SAS drives, I think. And I'm not sure if they even work with um, this current configuration. I tried to, you know, see if they'd plug in and they wouldn't. But that's okay. I'm going to get some hard drives installed into this guy and get her fired up in due time. So for the T430 hardware upgrades, um, first we have this RAID controller, and I think I called it a SATA controller earlier, uh, but no, RAID controller, of course, of course. This is a Dell Perk H740P. Uh, which I think is a, a pretty damn good RAID controller. One thing that's a little intimidating, it's got its own battery pack. Doesn't that just look like an old battery pack that's ready to pull some lithium shenanigans? <laughs> I don't know. I shouldn't Definitely not taking it on an airplane anytime soon. So yeah, we have the RAID controller to upgrade into the T430. And then over to the next upgrade, which is a network interface card. This is the Dell Intel X540, um, 10 gigabyte network adapter card. 
And one thing I didn't talk about, one of the main reasons for this server adventure is because I'm going to be adding a pretty robust security system or actually improving my security system, but adding quite a few security cameras that are that use um, PoE, their power over Ethernet. And so um, I'm going to be transmitting a ton of data from those cameras into one of my servers into the T430 is the plan. So needed that upgraded network interface card uh, to support that. So those are some of the, those are the two uh, PCI upgrades that will be input, that we'll be installing. And then we have the hard drive, 16 terabyte hard drive. Uh, pretty straightforward there. So let's get to work. So for the first upgrade, it's going to be the RAID controller right here. There's the existing RAID controller. Go ahead and go ahead and update that. So I also have removed one of the uh, those openings for my network interface card, but that's all I've done so far. So let me just meh. Should be just like that, and we're out. So we've just removed the existing RAID controller, which is going to be replaced with this. Let's um, remove the bracket and make that install happen. We've installed the updated RAID controller. We'll see if we can get it to focus. There it is. Tucked up right next to my GPU and just chilling there. And so we have another open slot for the network adapter card. However, fortunately, I only have the shorter mounting plate, the back end. And, of course, I'm going to get a longer one. And it just simply will not work without the right mounting back plate. Um, or maybe it would to some extent, but I'm just going to hit eBay and get that longer mounting back plate and install the network adapter card at that time. So I was planning to in install my 16 terabyte NAS hard drive tonight, but I realized that there's only these filler panels except for the hard drives that except for the bays that already have hard drives installed so i think i need to get these for all of their empty bays or at least as i add hard drives into them so we will install the 16 terabyte hard drive on another day when i'm able to cop some of those metal panels from ebay for my t430 i'll also be getting of course that longer back mounting hardware for my network interface card my nic which means it's time to put the cover back on plug my computer or plug the server back in and then install my firmware for the new raid controller we have a pretty exciting upgrade one i've been waiting for for quite some time just about five days while the eBay order was shipping to me. Eight sticks of 32 gig ECC DDR4 RAM, 256 gigs total going into the Power Edge T430. So a uh, total rookie move on my part. I um, ran out of storage, so I didn't capture the RAM install. Um, so you didn't get some uh, beautiful RAM installation ASMR, but hey, you know what? We learn every day. Let me try to get that in focus. Yeah, so what I learned um, is for installing the RAM in the T430s, you are actually um, supposed to start with the white slots. And so since we have two, P two CPUs, we need to evenly distribute the RAM. We put them in the white slots and we actually used all eight white slots. So it was very straightforward. Um, but we need to find out if 
It works. I have made some great progress with the home lab and new server upgrades, so let's check it out. First, let's do a quick overview of the home lab and just all of my devices. So, tucked away back here, my uh, main gaming PC. Also do a lot of my video editing there. It's pretty, um, pretty beefy. And then, now my R720 XD tucked away back here along with this little Optiplex 3060. So there's two servers right there, along with my T430. And then we've got my Alienware, an old Alienware laptop that I have repurposed into a Pi hole. It's currently running Ubuntu. Also have my devices like my MacBook Pro and some tablets. So that's sort of my, you know, my devices at a glance, but you know, let's go into some of these machines. So we talked about the Alienware. Now over to the R720 XD. Really right now it is serving as my NAS. So I have true NAS up and running and I have uh, 20 terabytes running on RAID 6. So very secure um, but of course, I'm losing a lot of my storage capacity, so I will be upgrading my storage quite a bit um, in the 720 XD. It's got 12 hard drive slots, so I can just add some much bigger hard drives. But for now, this will store really all of my very important files, whether those are, those are personal files, work files, and of course, all of my video and photography files. Now this little Optiplex 3060 that's sitting on top of it. Cool little machine here running Ubuntu and serving as another Pi hole. So I do have two Pi holes on my network. I uh, think that really helps divvy out the load um, for the Pi holes and add just some more redundancy. Really everything I am managing from my uh, big old Samsung monitor here. So I have my web interfaces for all of my respective servers sort of up here, and that's how I am paying attention to everything. Um, over to the T430. Right now, this baby is doing a few different things for me. It is running a Plex server, so I've got my Plex server rolling. Family members are getting added to it. I'm onboarding my grandparents, my mom, my little brother, my best friends, and it's been pretty easy so far. So I'm really happy with the Plex experience. Um, very impressed, not only with how easy it is, but also just golly, how nice it looks. I mean, that is like Netflix level UX, right? And the, the mobile app's really good too. So super impressed. I'll tell you what, Going for my Sunday morning walk and being able to stream a 4K movie from my own home server, that's an experience that I think I'll remember forever. Um, on my Windows machine, uh, this uh, the gaming PC back here, I do have a uh, Kali VM running, and I'm just kind of going through some little hack-the-box modules and, and really learning some of the basics of cybersecurity and penetration testing. And then back over to the T430 real quick. So along with serving as my Plex server right now, um, I also have a Minecraft server running. We have a few um, like crypto startups and online communities of thousands and thousands of people. So I created a Minecraft server where people are able to hang out, um, earn crypto by like mining diamonds and fun stuff like that. So we'll be rolling that out and announcing it this week, but should be suitable for like up to 300 people with the current... Um, hardware allocations that I have for the server. So we'll see how that works out. Um, but I have a lot more stuff to do. I'm, I'm just sort of learning every day, right? Learning more about how to operate Linux and, and all of this stuff. Um, everything is using Proxmox and I'm just building the new VMs um, from that has been pretty straightforward coming from like a complete noob. Um, have been able to muddle my way through all of the setup and it's definitely hard, right? Like for a smooth brain like me, it, it takes time. It is not the most straightforward process in the world. And I do have a lot of respect for network networking engineers. I don't think everyone would be able to pull something like this off, but Hey, if you know how to Google, 
you might be able to get her done just like I did. I will keep providing more updates as I have them, right? So I still need to install this 16 terabyte hard drive into my T430. And that hard drive uh, primarily will just hold like a lot of my video files, a lot of my media files for my Plex server. And then the NAS at my R720 XD, that will just house really my, my really important files and, and utilize that RAID configuration to the best um, you know th that it's meant for. That being said, as I upgrade the size of hard drives in my R720 XD, then I might end up moving all of my movies and TV shows back to that server. So we'll see. They're all sitting, all of my Plex server media files are on my 720 XD right now. Um, and that will, of course, be how it is until I install the new 16 terabyte hard drive. And what I'm waiting on for the 16 terabyte hard drive install is also to install my NIC, my network interface card. I got a backplate that was uh, too short, so I ordered a different backplate. When I get those, when I get ready for that install, I'll also put in my um, hard drive and I'll record that installation. Now to close things off, we still have one more server. This is the T420, and I picked this up for thirty-five dollars. Paid forty total because uh, he threw in a bunch of these like SAS hard drives. Um, so sort of my current mission is figuring out if I can just slap in these SAS hard drives. If I can get some sort of different cabling or some some sort of adapters. Once I'm able to do that, this thing will be good to go. Um, that will be cool. It's a, as far as like the hardware goes, the 420 is pretty sh shit <laughs> compared to like the rest of my equipment, but that's okay, right? I mean, it was 40 bucks. So knowing that it's kind of a POS, we will use this as my victim machine for cybersecurity testing. Also, maybe a lot of my private downloading stuff that I just want to have running in the background v with a virtual with a VPN. That kind of stuff might just be perfect for this little turd of a server. Um, another big upgrade that I have and route will be for the 720XD. So I have ordered um, two upgraded CPUs. And so I will be upgrading the CPUs in the 720XD. I will have the specs of that upgraded CPU on the screen here. So yeah, this thing is about to get dual CPUs um, that are significantly more performant than the dual CPUs that are currently inside. So big win there. When I embark on my CPU upgrades for the R720 XD, I am planning to redo, reapply the thermal paste for my um, T430 and also the T420. When I first got my 430, I tried to <laughs> reapply the thermal paste, but I couldn't get the goddamn heatsink off. I was using like a just a, a iFixit little screwdriver and wouldn't work at all. I was like, man, what what's going on here? And then I looked at a video online and it's like a Dell a Dell employee has a an electric drill <laughs> to unscrew uh, the heatsink for that uh, for the like the same server I had. So I thought that was pretty funny. Uh, but hopefully, using a big old electric drill uh, gets the job done. Those are really the main updates that I have right now. I'm loving this setup. I'm blown away by how much I'm able to learn and really start to put into action, not only for my house, myself, my work and my employees, but also my friends and family. I, I cannot really hesitate enough how much I'm just impressed with the um, Plex experience. And I am very excited to continue to waste more electricity on all of these fun gizmos and gadgets so I can learn a little bit more and maybe, just maybe make life a bit more interesting. 
Until next time, guys.